everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm filming a new little vlog which i'm super excited about so this vlog is going to be kind of like a like hot girl summer vlog <laughs> so basically i just feel like there is so much i mean every monday i start like filming a vlog or whatever and i'm always like right guys i need to get my shit together that is what this vlog is going to be um, I feel like I do that all the time. But that is literally what we're going to be doing today, but we're taking it a bit more extreme. <laughs> so basically, um, I do also have a cold right now. Well, it's like the ends of the cold now. Um, so obviously, you would have seen my last video. I was very like nasally. I'm still sounding very nasally, um, but it has pretty much gone now, which is great. Um, we're also in the middle of literally the biggest heat wave we've ever had in the UK, I swear down so yeah it is absolutely boiling so i've just tried to slick my hair back but it's really difficult to do right now because i washed it yesterday morning and so like it's really fluffy and i don't want to put any gel on it or anything yet because i want it to like last and like not have to wash it for a while so yeah it's it, things aren't going great right now um but whatever first things first i wanted to like have a little chat and stuff um so basically let me put you down actually what i want to do in this vlog is i want to go into town at some point this week i really want to go in primark and have a look around there and like get a few like new little bits um, I've started working at the salon again now. I now actually am a qualified nail tech. So yeah, I'm going to be doing people's nails now. These are my recent ones. They've got little, that evil eye. I don't know if it's Turkish or Greek. I think it's Turkish. Um, oh, we're not in focus. But yeah, they're actually matching my outfit today, which is super cute. So yeah, that's super exciting. Like, I feel like I am starting to kind of get my life together a bit more. Because for me, like, summer is actually a really difficult time. Because I don't really have any friends. <laughs> I say this all the time it sounds really lame but like all my friends have like boyfriends and stuff so they're constantly with them or they're working full time and obviously I'm a uni student I've got the entire summer off with nothing to do um, and then even like when I work in the hair and beauty salon obviously it's just like a very small number of girls it's not like it's yeah basically I'm like the youngest one there <laughs> it's not like there's loads of people there either and then obviously my other work is working from home doing social media so it's a bit difficult for me so I find summer really hard because you always see like on social media like people going on holiday with their friends and like doing all this fun stuff and I'm just sat here like I feel like I'm wasting my time like I feel like I should be doing something but at the same time I need to like I kind of just remind myself actually no like you're completely fine right now you know doing what you're doing basically so yes i've got a nice coffee as well today guys but for some reason i don't really know what happened i put it on the cold setting which i'd never done before and it's worked but the coffee side of it i mean you can see how pale that is the coffee side of it is like not really there and i don't really know why i feel like the milk overdid it this time and i don't yeah i don't really know how that happened but it did so cheers guys <laughs> i feel like this video is actually gonna be really really long because i feel like we just need a bit of a catch up and stuff so second thing hot girl summer gone wrong um i have quit the gym but i haven't exactly so basically i just lost all motivation to do it um there was like oh, there was this one guy personal trainer guy and he really bothered me every time i was in there like i could just see him staring at me and like not in a bad way but like it just like obviously it's off-putting because it's like i'm probably not doing anything correctly like i just don't want anyone staring at me you know what i mean like that was my biggest fear when going to the gym anyway i was fine to begin with but then like he then started working more often and it was just like constant and i'm not gonna lie it did bother me a little bit because i was like yeah i don't want someone staring at me whilst doing a workout which i know i'm probably doing wrong so yeah um that kind of put me off but also like i hate working out in the summer i've always been like this because it's just too hot like right now i'm absolutely sweating i do not like the thought of going to the gym and getting even hotter no and like i know it's air and stuff but like still like you still get really hot and sweaty and then it's like you come out of the gym and like in the winter it's really nice because you come out of the gym and it's like freezing cold outside it's like oh this is so nice come out in the summer and it's absolutely like twice the temperature of inside it's ridiculous and i just hate it and i lose all motivation in the summer to work out so i have not worked out four weeks now um i just have zero motivation to go like i do not want to go there is like a swimming pool and stuff and i'm like oh that would be nice but like 
for me like i just feel so awkward going into a swimming pool area by myself like i don't know we've got we've got some things to work on basically guys <laughs> um but yeah that is the situation with the gym like i have not worked out in weeks i'm just not feeling it it's too hot it's too hot hot girl summer uh in that respect has gone down the drain however guys we are going to do something today which is a big deal so let me tell you so basically guys um you guys probably know me by now i am very much like a relationship girl um like i would absolutely love to you know have a relationship right now and all of that like i've just always been that way but i have been single for over four years now love what the fuck literally ridiculous <laughs> But I've dated so many guys in that time and it just all ends the same way and it's just it messes with your brain you know and it puts you down and it's horrible and basically it happened again uh, a couple weeks ago and I was just like I just can't be asked for this and like also if you guys know me as well like I'm like the pickiest person ever like my type is the type that is like a fuck boy um <laughs> like yeah it's not good guys it's not looking good and basically i have been on dating apps for pretty much the entire i'd say like three and a half years i reckon obviously dating apps are not great but like i said like i don't really have any friends at the moment so i don't really go out and about and i'm not like a massive clubber anyway like i don't go i don't really enjoy going clubbing that much so like i feel like it's impossible to meet guys like and like i said with like my jobs and stuff like i'm just around girls it's it's basically impossible so like i feel i've always thought like dating apps are the only way i can really find anyone <laughs> because like i've got no other way which i think is fair enough but dating apps are just not they're just not great are they guys <laughs> so basically i have got bumble tinder and hinge bumble i actually don't have an account on at the moment uh tinder i have i literally i'm one of them people i will get bored of it after like a month and i'll delete my account and start again <laughs> i've literally probably had like over 100 tinder accounts i'm not even gonna lie same with hinge um hinge is my fave i'm not gonna lie uh but they're all pretty much useless so yeah and i have had these three apps on my phone for the, that entire time like i've never deleted them i've always had them there and i just thought like so many people say like it will happen when you least expect it things like that like you can't be looking for it and i just feel like i've just had enough of boys if i'm honest <laughs> like i've had enough so we're gonna trial it out um even though like i'm not gonna lie this is gonna be really hard for me this is gonna be really hard for me because when i'm bored literally what i do is go on dating apps and like flick through and i'll be there for hours like i'm actually gonna have a look let's have a look what my screen time is for dating apps because i think it's ridiculous to be honest because literally whenever i'm bored that's what i do guys it's really bad right so last week i spent two hours and 13 minutes on hinge and an hour and two minutes on tinder that is so bad that's actually so bad like someone needs to stop me so yeah not ideal um it's so basically guys what i've decided is i'm gonna delete all of my dating apps for one month <laughs> now so many people are going to be watching this like one month like are you serious but like i said like i've literally been on them for like four years and like i just do it for a bit of fun as well like it's genuinely fun and like it, when i'm bored and i'm feeling a bit lonely just go and message a random guy <laughs> i mean i'm really picky on there um not gonna lie and so it's just not being very successful for me anyway because like i'm just really picky like sometimes i'll even just like message them once and then be like no actually i'm not feeling it uh so we're gonna get rid of it guys oh my god so yeah that is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it in a minute because i'm gonna just double check there's no one i want to get on instagram <laughs> and then we're gonna delete them so that is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you when i do that um so yeah that is the main like hot girl summer thing that we're gonna do like, i'm gonna just try and like do stuff for me and like i want to try and like enjoy my life right now by myself which is really difficult uh because i do that anyway and i hate it like i try to do things all the time for myself but i just get bored um because i'm a real like people person and i've got no people so yeah anyway we have been talking for such a long time right now my voice is getting worse 
um but i just yeah i just wanted to have like a little catch up with you guys like let me know in the comments if you guys are feeling the same way but i feel like it's really difficult as like a university student especially like someone like me who like does it from home because i've just got no one around here guys yeah so also guys we are going to do some skincare because i've been gifted some really nice skincare from sand and sky um so i'm gonna show you them later we're gonna try out their skincare have a bit of a pamper night um i just kind of get our shit together a little bit you know so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some editing today as well and yeah good morning guys so it's now the next day actually even though i'm wearing the exact same outfit um but yes my nose looks really red because i've just blown it because yeah and it is literally the hottest day of the year today it's about 30 degrees and i'm sweating and it's only like 9 a.m so today is going to be an absolutely awful day <laughs> because it ruined the mirror but this morning i tried out the sand and sky products which i am obsessed with so i did do an unboxing a few days ago because I wanted to take them all out of the packaging and stuff. But the packaging was so cute that I wanted to show you guys it anyway. So yeah, I'm going to insert that now of me unboxing it. And then over the top I'm going to overlay this morning when I was actually doing the skincare. But I'm literally obsessed with all of it. So I'll insert that now. Okay guys, so I thought I would just do a little unboxing before I show you guys me actually using the products. Because the packaging's just too cute. I had to show you guys before... I actually take them out all the boxes and everything um so this is our parcel from sand and sky i'm literally i'm so excited like how cute is this box it says clear glowing skin no worries um so yeah it comes in this really cute little pink box with pink tissue paper here is all our products so i'm going to talk to you guys through them real quick um so the first one we have got is this oil control um clearing moisturizer like can we just appreciate this packaging look at the inside let me take the product out look at the inside it's like a forest it is the cutest thing. i do not want to chuck out this box and um, so you get a little leaflet which tells you like all about the products and stuff and what they use in it and everything which is amazing um and this is the product it looks really nice and the packaging is beautiful i think this is actually glass as well and it's really heavy so amazing what the hell is that banging anyway yeah super excited to try this well i'm super, super excited to try it all and um, so we've then got a australian pink clay deep pore cleanser sorry if you can hear that banging i don't know what it is um but yes yeah, so we've got this deep pore cleanser which is very exciting um yeah this one how cute is this like oh my god like all their packaging is just so nice like it's glass it's just like a really pretty blue i love it so this is the tasmanian spring water hydration boost cream oh my god i'm so excited can i give it a smell oh my god it smells like summer oh, it just looks so oh my god i'm so excited to use all these products they look so like summery and like really nice um so then we've got these sand and sky tasmanian spring water splash serum again packaging goals like literally look at that wow so again you get like the little leaflet and then this one's a little oh my god look how cute can we just sweet oh my god super cute very excited to try that one and then finally we have the australian pink clay pore fining face mask I actually opened this one up a little bit earlier oh my gosh so you get your little leaflet again and then this is the cutest thing you've ever seen it comes with a little brush oh my god it says sand and sky on it you can't really see lighting's going funny now oh there we go oh my god is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen matches my nails as well just saying and then we've got that in the little cute pot let's just have a quick little sneak peek look at that look at that super excited to use this i love me a face mask i've now got it everywhere but i'll be fine <laughs> i'm very excited to use these i just wanted to do a little unboxing before i actually showed me using these products because the packaging is unreal so yeah
the other thing that I wanted to mention to you guys was that I have deleted the dating apps I told you about. They are all gone, um, which I'm very excited about. So, yes, stay tuned. Rue's being really naughty. And he's really hot. So, stay tuned, guys. But I'm probably going to take the day off today to edit because... I can't even tell you how hot I am, I can barely speak right now. Guys, so I thought I would just vlog real quick because I haven't today and I wanted to continue the vlog that we were doing the other day. So today I'm treating myself and going into town. I'm feeling a lot better today. So yeah, I'm just filming here in my hallway because I have got all my blinds closed in my room because it's still so hot and I'm about to go out so I thought... I'd close them now. So yeah, today is also uni results day. So I get them at some point today. I'm waiting for the email to come through to say that they're up. But yes, it's quarter to 10. I'm going to head into town and we're going to have a little shop, which I am so excited about. So yeah, let's go. Also, this outfit is so cute today. Look at it. This top is from Zaffle. Zaffle. Yeah. Which you saw in my last vlog, in my last video even. And then shorts are, I saw it first. Cute. Hi guys, so I thought I'd vlog on my phone real quick. It's so bloody hot. I'm sat here in the car park with my window, no, my door wide open. But I thought I'd just update you guys. Um, so I've really treated myself. I've bought a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, and I also bought a yum nut from M&S, which is very much not needed, but you know, self care day and all that. As I was walking back to the car park, I literally walked past Cole Anderson, who, if you don't know, he is literally, tiktok famous like he's got a huge following on tiktok and on instagram and stuff and i knew he lived in my town like he lives the same place as me but i just walked straight past him and i was like oh. like i acknowledged who it was once i'd walked past him i was like oh my god i want to go back and have a conversation with him so i walked back but then he'd gone into the barbers at that point and he really looked at me like i i didn't look in but i kind of like I glanced to the side a little bit and like continued walking straight past once I noticed he was in there. But he like really looked at me and I was like, oh God. And then I was thinking, oh my God, now I've got to walk back again past the barbers to go back to the car park. <laughs> um, so I, I pretended I was on the phone. I really awkwardly walked past Mary. Some, some person just walked past. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to have a conversation with him because he seems like a really nice guy and he was very good looking in person. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, we might actually try a yum nut whilst I'm here, although I don't know where I'm going to put you. I don't know where to put you guys. Okay, maybe we'll have to try it when we're home. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd update you on my little adventure, but I've had a really fun morning, so I'm going to go back now. <laughs> I got the cookies and milk one. How insane does that look? Oh my god, get in my belly. Do a taste test. Oh my god, I'm eating in my car. Oh my god that's unreal okay guys so typical me my camera battery is running low but we're gonna quickly try and give you a little haul so this is what we got rue is currently um being annoying down here but anyway so we're gonna start with h&m so i firstly just got this like linen white linen throwover shirt thing this was 24.99 um it's really nice material it feels really thick lovely it's quite big i got it in an extra small because they're really oversized and so small was literally huge um but extra small small was a lot better so i went with that <coughs> rue's here trying to sniff everything and then i've got a new pair of denim shorts which i've been looking for a new pair for so long these ones, again, from H&M, they are high-waisted and they're actually really long, which I love. I don't actually own a pair like this and I really wanted one, so love, love, love these. They're a little bit distressed at the bottom. Yeah, obsessed. So these were £17.99. H&M I love, but it is just that little bit pricey, I'm not going to lie. So them two items came to like 40 quid not ideal i did get 10 percent off because i just signed up as a member so that makes things a little bit better but anyway now on to boots rue can you not you're you're messing my camera right on to boots so i got this because i saw jordan lipscomb talking about it it's the nyx lift and snatch um brow pen i'm hoping i got the right color i got espresso i think that's the right shade i reckon um it's like a pen so you can draw like fine lines when you do like the 
glue brow look so yeah i got that that was like 11 pounds yeah 11 pounds then i got this because i saw it on tiktok and it's meant to be amazing it's the l'oreal true match um tinted serum so i use the l'oreal true match foundation every day anyway but apparently this is meant to be really good for summer it's kind of like a lighter bb cream type thing so i got this i got it in light to medium i'm hoping it's the right shade i think it is i compared it to my color of this foundation and it was quite similar so i think we're gonna be okay that was 14.99 and then i got i need a new eye cream and i couldn't find one like anywhere so this one i decided to pick up it's the revolution skincare which i've never tried before so i don't know how it's gonna go but this is the vitamin c eye cream which helps to brighten and hydrate under eye area so i'm excited to give that a try i'll let you guys know how i get on with them you see primer so i actually got quite a bit from primark so they had these in which i have these are new and they're like little pajama bottoms and they had really cute little tops to go with them but like my primark is out of stock in small in most things and which is the size i also am and they're also always out of stock of like the matching sets so i got these coral shorts um but then i had to mix, mix and match a little bit so i got i got a yellow See, I really wanted the yellow bottoms for this, but I got the yellow top to go with it, which is super cute, obsessed. Um, but I did have to get that in an extra small, but I figured that would be fine because the straps are adjustable and stuff. So I got... <laughs> doesn't quite go, but you know. Um, so that's the pyjama set. And then I've got the set in black because it was the only set where I could get the shorts and the top. And then I... Yeah, like I said, I couldn't get the yellow bottoms, so I was really sad about that. Um, but I did manage to finally pick up. I've been looking for this for the week. So I've got this set in every colour, pretty much. I've got pink, blue, and like a pinky brown colour. Um, and I've been looking for the yellow. I finally got it, lemon yellow. So this is £5, this set. It comes with the thong and the bralette, and I'm obsessed with it. So I've got those. And then I got these because I've been looking for some LED lights for ages, but they're all like quite expensive when you look on um, Amazon and stuff. So yeah, they had 30 LED neon strip lights. I just want to put these like underneath my TV. So we could give these a go. These were only three pounds. So yeah, I also forgot to mention that the little tops were three pounds and the shorts were also three pounds. So bargain if you ask me. And then I got these heels because I've seen so many people rave about them. They're really nice, like small chunky heel. Um, they're pink which is really cute and they're lace up so they lace up your leg we'll try these on in a second um but yeah i thought they were really cute and they were 14 pounds so yeah i'm hoping they'll fit but i didn't try them on couldn't be bothered yeah so that is that so yeah i'm very happy with all of what i got um but yeah that's it really i'll catch you guys in a bit good morning guys so it is currently uh 10 40 and it is thursday the 21st of july so i have been filming this video for literally like over a week and it's very all over the place because i don't know it just is <laughs> i was talking about like different things in this video and stuff like that so yeah it's kind of all over the place but i don't really want to add too much on because i know i filmed a lot when i went into town the other day since then we've had like massive heat wave and everything and it is not been great and so i've not felt like filming I didn't wear makeup on Monday and Tuesday when it was like that 40 degrees because just too hot, you know. Literally did not do anything on them two days because it was so hot. But anyway, tonight I'm actually going on a date, guys. I know. At the beginning of this video, I was like, I'm getting rid of my dating apps. Rude, can you not, bro? He was literally just laying down sleeping a minute ago. So I was like, oh, I'll take this opportunity to film now he's decided to get up and play with his toy but as i was saying but at the beginning of this video i was like yeah i've deleted all my dating apps done with boys for a month literally guys i deleted them and then i went to the pub with my friends on friday night and some guy like came up to me and basically asked me out and he was really fit so you know i was like yeah sure i did kind of know him anyway so but yeah crazy times so you know things happen when you're least expecting it and all that and <laughs> when you're not looking for it so yeah we're gonna go on this date tonight see what happens i'll update you guys <laughs> i feel a bit cringe like saying it i feel like I, I literally tell you guys too much of my life but here we are so yeah that is basically what 
it's going down um but i wanted to like i said just like end of this video and stuff um like i said i'm sorry it's like really all over the place and crazy i didn't actually get to use i've just suddenly remembered i didn't actually get to use this in the end i never used it i'm very like particular about my skincare at the moment because my skin was really bad now it's really good and so i'm a bit nervous about like using certain things and like i love doing a face mask when i have like a bath and like have a pamper evening but it's been so hot recently that i've not wanted to at all but i am so excited to use this little um sand and sky face mask and it's it's the little brush for me like that's just the cutest thing ever isn't it um so maybe we'll use this in a future video but once again thank you so much to sand and sky for sending me a few of their products i am obsessed with the rest of their stuff though um and i'm sure this is going to be amazing this face mask i'll leave all the links to sand and sky in the description so make sure you go check them out if you haven't already um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video again sorry a bit mismatch but i hope you enjoyed it anyway if you did make sure to smash the thumbs up button also make sure to check out my social media which is on the screen now and subscribe if you haven't already but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all very very soon with a new one bye